I'm Nick Sweeney. And I'm Landon Bruce. And you're watching South Now. Today, we've got a great rundown in store. We'll start with an inside look at Bibb & Tucker, the class that operates as its own functioning business. In sports, we have exclusive interview footage with Prescott's own football coach and a winter sports preview as well. And later, we'll see which teacher at your school has a hidden talent. The answer might surprise you. I'm really looking forward to that, and you should be looking forward to seeing some of your faces on this edition of Two Minute Time. Can't wait, but let's get started with our main story, what's cool on campus. We have our ace reporter, Allie Gillis, on location at Bibb & Tucker. Thanks, Nick. So what is cool on campus? I'm outside of Bibb & Tucker, a class that functions on its own sufficient business. I sat down and talked to Miss Amy Scott to learn all about how the class really works. So the skills that you need to have to come to Bibb & Tucker is you need to be able to um, work as a team and make sure that you are willing to learn. Everything that we do in this class um, is something that we will teach you. The designs that we do, there are um, lots of Prescott Bulldog shirts. We have fall designs. We will be rolling out our winter and um, Christmas designs coming up soon. We have holiday shirts for Valentine's, and we also do sports-related shirts. That's extremely cool. I also sat down with Allie Roberts to learn all about her experience in Bibb & Tucker. The main skill is social and people skills. Honestly, communicating is a big factor in being in the Bibb and Tucker class. You need to know how to talk to people, how to communicate, how to understand them when selling or basically doing anything in this class. Wow, looks like I found my next Encore class. Now back to you in the studio, Nick. Thanks, Allie. That was great. Up next, we have our sports anchor, Will, recapping the football season with Coach Corey. Thanks, Landon. I caught up with Coach Corey to take a look on this year's football season and to also ask about wrestling. We talked about how the football team can improve on last year's record. I think they can learn how to be selfless, learn to practice, learn to be a team, more like a team. As the temperature drops, we move from the gridiron to the gym, where the basketball and wrestling teams will try to improve on their performances from last year. Co Coach Corey French has some thoughts on what it takes to be a good wrestler. Uh, the wrestling team is looking pretty good. Uh, we've got a youth movement going on. We're predominantly fit in sixth graders this year. Um, so the future is very bright and they're, you know, the work ethic is really high, so we don't have to worry about much. We talked to the head coach of the girls basketball team to hear her thoughts on the upcoming season. I'd say the biggest difference is how big of a team we are. And nobody really cares who scores. They all just want to win. Our biggest strength this year is that we have five to seven players at any moment in time that can score or take over. We have a lot of leadership this year, which I'm really excited about. That's it for Sports here at Prescott. Sending it back to Landon in the studio. Thanks, Will. Up next, we have a quick message from Miss Brooks, our principal. Let's see what she has for us. Hey Prescott, can you believe that it is the first semester of the 2021-2022 school year is almost over? I can't believe it. I've been thinking about the gifts that this year has brought and some things that we have is the gift of normalcy. Uh, this year we brought in, we got to have our dances, we got to be have our community members come in and that has been great to see all the things that we used to could do and now get to do again. So that's been a, a great gift. Also our Bulldog Dash was a huge success. We raised over $26,000 and that just blows my mind and about 15,000 of that's going to be used to help rebuild the front playground and to get it up to speed and uh, for new surfaces for you to play on. I want to encourage you to finish the semester strong and I look forward to all the great things that are happening in the 2022 school year. A special thanks to Miss Brooks for that message of encouragement. Let's finish the semester strong. You know what else is encouraging? My favorite segment, Hidden Talent. Today, we'll take a closer look at what Miss Allison Holt does when she isn't teaching eighth grade English. Hello, my name is Caden Holmes, and today I'm on Hidden Talents. I'm here with Miss Holt, an eighth grade teacher here at Prescott. Miss Holt, do you have any hidden talents? I do. My hidden talent is photography. That's awesome. How long have you been practicing photography? I've been practicing photography for about four years. So, what inspired you to do photography? About four years ago, I did the Disney College program, and one of my roommates was a videographer. And we would go to the parks and take pictures and videos all the time, so when I came home, I just kind of picked up a camera and kept going with it. What would you say is the hardest part of learning this skill? Probably the business side of it. So marketing, the social media aspect, website building, all of that. 
In your opinion, what's the most rewarding part of this, of photography? Definitely getting to connect with other couples and traveling. If you can give a young, inspiring photographer a piece of advice, what would it be? To just put yourself out there and go for it. Well, Miss Hoyle, this has been great. Thank you for taking your time to talk with us, and I hope everyone else watching enjoyed it as much as I did. Back to Landon and Nick in the studio. Wow, that was so cool. Maybe I should try photography sometime. It really was, and good luck with that. Next up, we have Two Minute Time, hosted by Drew Patel. Thanks, Nick. I'm Drew Patel. In this edition of Two Minute Time, we're playing a game called Face Cookie. Our players have 30 seconds to get a cookie from their forehead, their mouth, without using their hands, like so. I dropped it. Let's see how our contestants do. We're here with Kian. Let's see how he does. We're here with Mr. Campbell. We're here with Mr. Maddox. And Ms. Brandon. We're here with Farley. We're here with Gus. We're here with Lauren. We're here with Callie. We're here with Deca Leonard. We're here with Ms. Palmer and Ms. Jones. We're doing a cookie thing and let's see how they do. Three, two, go. Oh. oh no. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Congratulations on the winners. We'll see them next time. Back to you, Nick. Wow, that's really great stuff. I can't wait to see more of that in the future. But that's all the time we have today. I'm Nick Sweeney, signing off for myself, Landon Bruce, and everyone else here working behind the scenes. This has been South Now, and we'll see you South later.